here we are again, second grade, and we're talking about life cycles. So we've talked about um, the things that we can acquire from our parents. Those are called inherited traits. And now we're going to talk about the actual life cycle. So what is a life cycle? Well, a life cycle is a series of changes that happen to a living creature over its lifetime. Now, if you've been watching Squirtle, our class tadpole, you might know some of the life cycles that Squirtle has been going through. I'm gonna give you some other examples. Here is the life cycle of a rabbit. So it starts off as this pink um, baby, uh, it's called a kit, it's very tiny, and it develops into a bigger bunny that has fur. A, a newborn has no fur, it doesn't really look much like its parent yet, it's very pink and hairless. By the time we get to be a kit though, the bunny's got fur and it's, looking more like a, a bunny, just a smaller version. And finally we have the adult and that's the life cycle of a bunny. Here we have the life cycle of a chicken. So how does a chicken start? Well, we start with an egg and then the egg hatches. We have a little hatchling. The hatchling then becomes a chick. You know, when you have a hatchling, they um, are very, kind of helpless, they're very wet when they come out of the egg, uh, they're not fuzzy, their they're, they're fur, they're, the little fuzz on them is very wet and dewy. Um, then we have a chick, it kind of has dried off, it's cute and yellow, starts to peck at things, and then eventually it grows up into a full adult chicken that can eventually lay eggs again. So that's the life cycle of a chicken. And of course we know the life cycle of squirtle or frog. Um, it starts off as eggs, which we didn't get to see our tadpole as an egg, but I'm sure many of you have seen a pond of, it looks like jelly. Sometimes you can see the teeny little uh, dots in here that actually become the tadpole. You can see them tiny uh, little squ swimming around inside this jelly egg. They eventually come out of the eggs and now they are a tadpole. We're very familiar with our cute little squirtle. Uh, they have a tail. We know that tadpoles also have gills. They do not have lungs yet. But as they develop into the froglet, when they start to lose their tail and they start to develop um, hands and feet, they become a froglet. And then they develop lungs and, and Squirtle's going to need to get out of the tank a little bit more often, get out of the water so he can breathe with his lungs. And eventually we have the adult frog who's able to lay eggs again. The adult has fully grown and formed arms and legs. Um, he has fully developed lungs and he is able to reproduce and make more eggs. So this is your assignment that goes in your interactive notebook. It is animal life cycles. Um, we've done this kind before. These are pockets and these pockets you will cut out and fold and that gets folded backwards and that part will get glued into your interactive notebook. Uh, you will cut these parts out and you will come up with two more and these will get cut apart and put in your pockets. So here I have done one example for you. Uh, what you will put is animal life cycles at the top of your notebook. You will put your two notebooks or your two pockets this one gives birth to live young and the other one lays eggs. So I've color coded mine. Humans give birth to live young. So when I cut that one out, it's gonna go into this pocket. What animal lays eggs? Well, we have butterflies, frogs, goldfish, chickens and crocodiles. Those will all go into the laying egg. You're going to have to come up with two animals or two things that give birth to live young so you can put them in that pocket. Now, this one down here, you're going to write the uh, life cycles. So it's like a book. You'll cut this out 
And then when you fold it over, the blank side will say life cycle. So you've got the dog life cycle. What I need you to do is draw in some pictures of the puppy when it's first born, of the birth, then a little puppy, then when it's a little bit older, and then finally an adult. For a human, you're going to draw a little baby at birth, a child. The next phase would be an adolescent. And then what? So you're going to need to draw a picture of an adolescent. And then what? And then a picture. So what is the life cycle of a human? So you're going to draw pictures and write that in. This goes in your science interactive notebook. If you don't have that yet, just keep all of this. Maybe don't cut it out until you're able to paste it into your notebook. But um, at some point, you're going to have to need to, um, to come to school and, and pick that up. They will be available in the crate. If you have any questions or concerns, please make sure mom or dad email me or message me over Seesaw. Okay, hope you have fun with this activity on animal life cycles.